in this tutorial we're going to cover how to manage the storage space on your P Windows PC or laptop. So it's critical to understand what drives you have. So the first thing I would do is go to File Explorer on Windows, open up File Explorer and if you click on this PC you'll see the two drives that you'll have available. If you're using Google Drive you will have a G Google Drive okay most laptops these days will have a C and D drive so C will be where your operating system is installed on and then you'll have a D drive which will be a data drive okay so how do we manage and keep these drives clean the first thing that we're gonna do is go and check our storage settings so you're gonna click on Windows settings and you go to system and you're gonna go to storage what this does it produces a snapshot of all your drives and shows you the data allocated. In this case, it will just show me my C drive, which is where my operating system is installed. Now, the things to look out for, if your picture files, if there's a lot of picture files, movie files, here you can go and delete these uh, files. The biggest culprit to taking a lot of space in your machine is the temporary files. So click on the temporary files. This takes a couple seconds for it to find and show you a complete picture of, of what's going on that drive. But here you can see, I can click on these different icons and choose what I don't want on this device or what Windows must clean for me. This does take a bit of time, so let this continue. Now you can see I can remove a total of three gig of my machine. But in addition, I can select downloads as well. I can go and select delivery optimization files. This is Windows temporary stuff, so I can get rid of that as well. But you can see this is a good place to start. Okay, now you can simply say remove files and let this tool do its job and then it'll go and clean up all that information on your machine. This will take a couple seconds to give you a complete picture so you can see it's showing me now that it's done. Now you can see I've cleaned up all my temporary files. If I go back one, my temporary files, you'll see it will start changing the actual size of my temporary files. However, there is still stuff here sometimes and there's hidden files that you can also go and get rid of. Okay, so this is the first step. Just remember, you can say, here you can look at all your storage devices. Ignore um, the G drive for now, but I've there's a, a temporary drive located on these machines which you can go and, so if you had a D drive, for example, you could activate the D drive and you can go and see what's in the D drive as well, clean out photos, etc. Just remember, this is just, if you want to clean out um, unnecessary um, data or software on your device. If you enter apps and features it'll take you straight to the application section where you can go and uninstall the unnecessary apps. Okay so you've got this option as well. Once you've done all of that what I recommend you do is you go back to File Explorer, you click on the C drive for example, you right click and you go to properties and you're going to activate disk cleanup. Okay once you've activated disk cleanup this will do something very similar. Here you can see you can go and delete a lot of this information. So I would temporary files, if I click on temporary files and I say clean up system files, now it's going to clean up those system files as well. So I'm just checking system files as well. This is also quite a culprit. So now that I've clicked on system files, you can see it'll give you a lot of the same settings, but it'll also give you, so if your machine's upgraded Windows recently, it will show you there's an old version of Windows here, for example, and the file size are quite large. So I'm going to select all of this information and I'm going to say delete files. Okay, this will take a bit of time. Let's it delete all those files. Okay, so just to recap. Properties, just clean up. So this is the first option. So remember you can select everything over here. So you can delete files and you can go clean up system files. So you can go and click this option as well. It will do a complete search and show you all the system files as well, which you can go and delete. Okay. Great. And then you can press OK. So that should keep your storage on your machine optimized. Okay, just remember, use your Google Drive. If you are at the university and use your, your Google Drive to store all your work data, so that if somebody steals your machine, they don't steal all your data as well. 
So your data is protected by Google and it will be in the cloud.